drink, of course. Where else could I even go in this God's forsaken town? And what? You think that'll solve all your problems? Probably not, but it's worth a try. That My job is to serve the Yarl, the not waste time talking with travelers. I consider joining up myself. Me? Nothing. And I hope to keep it that way. The Jarl is convinced I have some connection with the college, so he goes easy on me. Maybe you'd like to help me keep up appearances. Old Nelicard has a major's staff in his room in the Frozen Hearth. It'd be good to have that staff, in case the Jarl starts wondering if I actually have a real connection to the college. <clears throat> Thanks. I'll be waiting for it. I'm sorry, could you describe the smell? Like some horrible monster was turned inside out and then exploded. Unless you're bringing you me do? another round, you It was a minor miscalculation. Walking. I've already corrected it for future experiments. This. This is why people have a problem with your college, Nelikar. Welcome. Let me know if you want to. I don't deal with any college applicants these Mark days, so don't bother asking. Who sent you? Was it the college? The Jarl? We agreed there would be no more questions. Azora. Gods, it's all finally coming back to haunt me. What do you know about soul gems? Soul gems are the subject, friend. They're used in enchanting, then they break. Except one. I understand couriers. Azora's star. A daedric artifact what that allows any number of souls to pass through no it. Harm. Some of us wanted to find out how. I was working under Malin Varen then. If only we well, knew what he was really planning. Home, Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying. Disease. He thought he could store his own soul inside. Become immortal. It drove him mad. Students started dying. Eventually, the college exiled him. He took a few loyal disciples to Illinolta's Deep and vanished. Look, I don't care who asked you to find the star, but don't take it back to Azora. The Daedra are evil. They're the reason Malin went insane. No. Gods, no. Not for years. I left Winterhold for some time and returned to stay here at the inn. I still have research that keeps me busy, and being here in Winterhold ensures I have access to former colleagues. Azora is no ordinary Daedra. She commands an entire realm inside of Oblivion. The more Malin worked on the star, the more she was able to damn him. It started slowly at first. Malin would see things that weren't there. Then he would yell at students over words they hadn't said. Then one day I walked in and Malin had killed a student, and in a horrific moment of inspiration, he started using her soul for his work. The college would agree with you, but do you have any idea how many innocent lives were cut short just so Azura could have revenge? We're nothing to the Daedra. Pawns to move around, praise and punish as they see fit. I mentioned how the star is a soul gem, only it never gets depleted. There's another rule the artifact follows. You can only store white souls in the star belonging to the lesser creatures. Azura's magic won't allow black souls to enter it. As a mortal, Malin's soul was black, so part of his work was breaking past Azura's rules. He was close before. Well, I already told you. Ranmir beg a drink from you yet? That's gold wasted, friend. It's not much, but we get by. Very little money passes through Winterhold anymore. But if there's one thing you can count on, it's folks needing a drink now and then. He owes this tavern enough coin to burn it down, build it back up, then burn it down again just for laughs. He's had some troubles in his life, but I can't have him drinking here without at least paying back some of the coin he owes. Go right ahead. He just might be sober enough to listen to you. You mean the inn or Winterhold? Suppose it's the same answer either way. Winterhold's fallen on hard times, to say the least. Most folk packed up and left years ago. A few of us are either too stubborn or too crazy to go, so we do our best to make a living. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. 
Who are you to say what I should do? I'll pay her back when I'm ready. You're right. What would my forefathers think if they knew I wasn't paying my debts? Tell Haran I'll bring her the gold I owe. Thank you. He's not a bad man, just bad with his coins and his drink. My husband Dagger could tell you stories there. I have a couple of Ranmere's things that he traded to us back when he was still paying regularly. I say you've earned them. Well, not exactly. Listen, we're friends, right? I wonder if I could ask a favor of you. It's about Ranmere. Don't get me wrong. I don't have a problem with him being here all the time. He mostly keeps to himself, and so far he's been able to pay. I just hate to see what's happened to him. He hasn't always been like this, you know. Drunk, I mean. Oh, he was a different person. Happy, outgoing, like anyone who's in love. See, Ranmere was involved with a pretty young woman named Isabel Rollain. The two of them were very happy together, I thought. One day, she just disappeared. Ranmere was convinced she'd run off with someone else, leaving him behind. He turned to drinking. And what's left of him is what you see here every day. I'm not sure. I hope that maybe if she could be found, if he had some sort of explanation, that maybe he could put himself back together. I'm in no position to go searching for her, but perhaps you could. I'm afraid there's not much to be said. Vinterhold is hardly what it used to be. You can talk to Birna if you need to buy anything. She doesn't have much, but could certainly use the coin. And then there's our little inn. Most of the business we get is from folks here to visit the college. Though even that's dried up some. That's right. College of Interhold, just north of town. Hard to miss. Oh no. Dagger's been talking at you, hasn't he? Gotten you roped into his little plan to fix Ranmere's life. I'll tell you what I told him. Stay out of it. It's none of your business. Those aren't folks you want to get tangled up with. You'll wind up getting yourself killed. Dagger shouldn't have said a word about it. I love the man, bless his heart. But he doesn't know the whole story. One night, Ranmere was in here like always, drinking himself to death. When I told him there was no more haunting brew, that he drank all of it, he got angry. He ranted at me. How I didn't know what he's been through. How Isabel broke his heart when she ran off with some thief named Vex. He said he'd even gone to Riften to try and find the bastard. I think maybe he was hoping they'd just kill him, and that'd be the end of it. Dagger never heard any of this, and I chose to keep it to myself. I'm only telling you so you don't get into trouble. Riften and thieves means trouble. Just leave it alone. No, there isn't, and I suggest you leave it at that. I don't want to see anyone get hurt over this. Yes, yes, what is it? Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? Problem? Let me see it. Ah, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. A word of warning. Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of Academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. Well, for the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. <laughs> Ah, yes. Quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn 
led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? As long as he keeps paying, I suppose. He keeps himself and his... Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. This should come in handy. Here, let me show you a few tricks I've learned about buttering up royalty. Until next time. Ours is the only family left that truly cares what happens to Winterhold. Helgen. Destroyed by a dragon. Hard to believe, isn't it? I'll sell just about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? Very funny. I'm sure you've noticed that Winterhold isn't exactly overflowing with people. So I'll sell whatever I can. If it's worth putting a price on, you can bet I'll do it. I've been burned a few times, made a few bad deals, but mostly I come out on top. Yeah, it was stupid of me. I shouldn't have believed the story and just refused the trade. But I didn't, and now I'm stuck with this worthless junk. Some line about this clothing and Ingol Barrow. He said it was worth more than its weight in gold if I took it back there. Something about placing it back in Ingol's chamber, I don't know. What was I thinking? Even if it were true, I'm not setting foot in some ancient tomb filled with who knows what. I don't even care anymore. You want to check it out? Fine. I'll sell you the thing for 50 gold and then it's your problem. Fine, here you go. You get killed on account of this thing? It's not my fault. Got it? But I suppose if it does actually turn out to be worth something, let me know, will you? Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. Oh, forgive me. Most who arrive here do so because they have heard of the college beforehand. This is the College of Winterhold. A safe haven for mages in Skyrim. A place of wisdom and arcane knowledge. I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? Ha. Huh. Humor is often in short supply here. But I sense that perhaps you're after more than just that. It would seem that the College has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the College? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. Excellent. The Mage Light spell is useful to any mage, not just those specializing in alteration. Can you cast one on the seal on the ground? I look forward to it. Much knowledge lies within the cup. Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. Take a look.
I can teach you, but I won't be held responsible for what you do with the knowledge. Mirabelle will be waiting for you. I know you. Where was it? Items? What items? Let me see those. Hmm. I'm not sure how you managed it, but these are exactly what I need to start my next set of experiments. Wonderful! Well, at least allow me to reward you for your uncanny foresight. Someone there? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. It's from... Falk Firebeard at the Blue Palace. Ooh, you've got friends in high places. Looks like that's it. I'll have your head. Got to go. Who's asking? Not him again. He came nosing around Riften a while back, making a lot of noise about me. He was persuaded to leave before he found me. Funny. I'd have thought she would have gone back to him by now. She came through a while ago, wanted to know where she could get her hands on something valuable. Anything, really. I told her it was a bad idea. That she wasn't cut out for what would be necessary, but she wouldn't hear it. So, I gave her some advice, pointed her towards Hobbs Fall Cave, and that was that. Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. What a delightful find. This should cover it. Be careful out there. We will to lose such a What have you done to yourself? I cannot work with you in this state, Nightwalker. I assumed you were here to see me about your face. To have it sculpted into something more artful than nature has bestowed upon you. But my techniques only work on the living, not those that have crossed over into un.
Miner. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. 
I'm just trying to have a quiet drink here, all right? Unless it's gold for another round of drinks, I don't want to hear it. A what? Don't you go pulling my leg. Give it here. This... this is really from her, isn't it? Did she really run off and do this? For me? By the eight. She's dead, isn't she? And it's all my fault. I... I have some thinking to do. Thank you for this. Please, leave me alone. I need to be by myself. No matter what, the college will endure. I can teach you, but I won't be held responsible for what you do with the knowledge. sell just about anything if it's worth my time. You want to give me money? Just like that? Fine. But I intend to earn that investment. I don't need handouts. I'll work hard to justify your faith in me. <laughs> 